This video details the assembly of the soil pulverizer. The soil pulverizer can be used in conjunction with the life track and compressed earth brick press for the efficient pulverizing of soil to create compressed earth bricks, among other applications. The pulverizer can be assembled with two people in approximately one hour. The first step is to assemble the support structure for the shaft and motor frame. Insert the armrest into the armrest slot on the side of the pulverizer bucket. Tighten the bolt on the side of the slot to hold the arm in place. Next, bolt the frame pivot hinge to the top side of the bucket so it rests on the armrest. Tighten the bolt and leave just a little space so the frame pivot hinge can freely rotate up and down. Insert the shaft and motor frame arm into the frame pivot hinge and tighten the bolts on the side of the pivot hinge. Repeat this assembly on the other side of the bucket. Next, move the shaft and motor frame into position onto the arms and bolt in place. Install the bearings on the shaft mounts with the four bolts, nuts, and washers for each bearing. The bearing goes on the outside of the mount on the right side of the frame and on the inside of the left side of the frame. Make sure the bearings are oriented in the correct position as shown here. Insert the shaft through the right bearing, leaving some space to install the tines. Angle the shaft to the side to gain access and then slide the tines onto the shaft. Once all the tines are in place, hammer the shaft completely through the other bearing. Install the coupler on the end of the shaft between the motor mount plate and the bearing mount plate. Rotate it so the holes through the coupler and the shaft line up and insert a bolt through the holes and fasten with a lock nut. Bolt the motor interface plate to the outside of the motor mount plate and remove the nuts on the smaller bolts to accommodate the motor. Now mount the motor to the assembly by inserting the six spline shaft through the motor mount plate and into the coupler. Tap the motor until it is flush with the motor interface plate and then bolt into place. Tighten the bearing collars onto the shaft and tighten the key in the coupler using an allen key. Tighten all of the bolts of the tines onto the shaft with a socket wrench and extension. Mount the hydraulic fittings on the hydraulic motor. The case drain receives a SAE4 by MPTF 1 quarter inch coupler to the 1 quarter inch male quick attach coupler. Each of the two drive lines receive an SAE10 by MPTF 1 half inch coupler. Attach a 1 half inch female quick coupler to one drive port and a 1 half inch male quick coupler to the other port. Attach hoses to the couplers in preparation for connection to a hydraulic power unit or auxiliary port on a tractor. Lastly, install the bucket cover plate by lining up the hinges on the back of the bucket with the hinges of the plate and driving a shaft from one side all the way through the hinges. Use a pin on each side to fix the shaft in position. This completes the assembly of the soil pulverizer, factory farm edition from December 2011.